Uh, the Pats are after beating Sligo Rovers 2-1. Mikey Drennan with the second goal penalty. Uh, how did you thought the game went against your former club? Um, yeah, I thought first half we were much the better side. We deserved the 2-0. Probably could have been more. I probably should have scored. Um, create a bit more chances. Just probably the, the cross is the end product. Probably isn't where we want it to be. But look, it went in 2-0 and then second half we tried to kind of push on but I think it was a snatter that we kind of dropped back a bit and that but look it was the most important thing was three points and delighted to get it. Yeah um, as well as that it was never going to be a case where you weren't going to celebrate against your former club was it but uh, I mean I don't know it was, a great, it was a great result Chris Forrester got a lovely goal just before yourself as well was there ever a point in the game where you're kind of thinking oh they're on the front for here they might get uh, I know they got a late goal but do you ever think they were going to really get back into it? Not really no I don't think they troubled us too much like I think our our back three were were fantastic and re sitting there as well and it was it was good like I, I, the goal at the end we probably could have stopped that as well which which we probably should have but look it didn't happen it was two on bit nervy at the end but three points and uh, good scored more than one goal as well in the game yeah absolutely and just you just touched on the back three there is that something that you've been working on I know you're uh, trying to get Burmo and, and Simon Madden all the time involved in the game is that something you've been working on consistently in training and, and, and kind of getting yourselves so it's kind of creating a bit more in the midfield for, for the likes of you know, Chris Forrest to kind of get up and attack with yourself yeah that's what look we've been working on we can do 4-3-3 or we can do 3-5-2 um, whatever you want to whatever you want to but we have worked hard in, in, in training and we want to I think I think H wants us to have me and Charles up front and we, um, we know each other's game, and I think we work work well off each other. And um, but look, it's everything is just down to kind of keep working hard. And look, it's been a frustrating start, very frustrating. We kind of probably didn't expect probably to be where we are now at the minute. But look, it's it's still early days, but we can't leave too much of a gap there. And hopefully, now we'll just keep um, keep winning and keep looking up the table. Absolutely, and there was a lot of times in that ga- in the half there where you were actually every single one of your players were actually in. The slow go half, which is, is great to see, just so much of bodies getting up in support, um, which you wouldn't really have associated, I suppose, last season with watching Pats. So, um, but just for myself, uh, lastly, um, have you got your passport sorted out for uh, a European adventure? Um, well, I do. Um, look, it's if needs be. If needs be, yeah. Uh, um, look, it's not, it's not final yet, and we yeah. don't know what's going to happen. Look, it's that's only be me being lighthearted anyway. It's probably a bit unfortunate on Waterford, but. I think rules are rules, like, and that's the unfortunate bit. But look, it's as I say, it's it's our gain, like, and someone else's loss. So um, look, it'd be nice to get into Europe, and especially if we keep kind of that first half performance, we need to keep building on that, and it can't be just one one half. It needs to be two. Have look, they're going half spells, and it needs to be 60, 70 minutes of us dominating the game. And look, we have the players to do that, and I just think we need to keep working hard. H, um, Sean. And Jared are all working hard. PJ, they're all working hard behind the scenes uh, with us. Like, and look, I, I think it showed in the first half, but I think it's just that second half. It's natural to drop, but look, it's it is what it is, and three points is all that matters. Absolutely. And uh, just lastly, you were very unlucky not to actually win man of the match yourself. I think you were outvoted by maybe one for Chris Forrester. So, but uh, just in terms of myself, thank you very much for your time, and uh, best of okay. luck for the season, Ari. Well Thanks. done.